What's up guys, Matt Monas here, and in my hands I have two of the hottest Android phones of 2015, the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and the Huawei Nexus 6P. These are two of my favorite devices of this year, and I'm putting them up against each other to find out which one is the better smartphone. So let's get started. <music> The Nexus 6P was made by Huawei this year and is probably one of the best or if not the best looking Nexus to date. It has a gorgeous metal unibody design with a chiseled frame allowing you to better grip the phone. The bezels are pretty thin on the sides but quite large on the top and bottom to house the dual front facing stereo speakers. The bottom line is it feels premium, a first for a Nexus and if this is Huawei's foray into North America then I'm happy to welcome them in. The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 on the other hand is a totally new design for Samsung. It has a metal frame that's sandwiched between two panes of Gorilla Glass 4. It's slightly thicker than the 6P but it's lighter, less wide and not as tall. The glass back also curves into the body allowing you to comfortably hold the phone in your hand and it also makes it feel smaller than it really is. Now both phones have rear facing protruding cameras but the 6P spans across the top while the Note 5 sits in the upper middle. In terms of design, both of these phones are absolutely gorgeous, but I definitely think the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 looks and feels better. It's not as wide, it's not nearly as tall, and there's just a lot less bezel around the phone, and the curve back allows it to sit comfortably in your hand. Next up is the display, and both of these phones have a 5.7 inch QHD screen with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and 518 pixels per inch. They're absolutely gorgeous screens, both Super AMOLED and share the latest Samsung display technology. Colors pop and are well represented with bright screens and great viewing angles. But there are some differences. The Note 5 screen gets much brighter and the whites actually look white, while the Nexus 6P I found the whites to be a little grey even at max brightness. Also in direct sunlight I felt the Note 5 was easier to read due to how bright it was able to get. The bottom line is these are two of the best screens on the market today with warm vibrant colors and nice deep blacks. But what's a good display without great speakers? Well you won't find great speakers on the Note 5. It's on the bottom of the phone which is better than on the back, but I found myself covering them when playing games or watching movies in landscape mode. The sound quality is good enough overall and gets loud enough for a mono speaker. The Nexus 6P on the other hand has dual front facing stereo speakers and sound absolutely awesome. The 6P is not the first Nexus device to have dual front facing speakers. The Nexus 6 had them, but the 6P gets louder and sounds a lot cleaner at max volume. The Note 5 has a physical home button with a built in fingerprint scanner, while the Nexus 6P has no physical button but a fingerprint scanner on the back. Both scanners work great, but I found the Nexus 6P to be a little bit more accurate, but the one on the Note 5 is good too. So for the display, I'm definitely going to give it to the Galaxy Note 5. Now both of these phones are using the latest Samsung panels, but the one on the Galaxy Note 5 gets a lot brighter. Now because it gets brighter, you're going to get more natural whites and you're going to be able to see the phone better under natural sunlight. Don't get me wrong, both of these screens are beautiful and you're going to get just the same deep blacks, beautiful reds and blues on the Galaxy Nexus 6P. Now when it comes to sound, it's definitely the Nexus 6P. The dual front facing speakers sound absolutely awesome, so for those of you that appreciate good external sound, you're going to want to lead towards the Nexus 6P. And finally the fingerprint scanner. I don't really value a fingerprint scanner higher than a display or sound, so I'm going to give it a tie as it comes down to personal preference on whether you like to use the one on the back or the one on the front. The 6P and Note 5 are fast, using top of the line chipsets and offering the best hardware available today. The Galaxy Note 5 uses Samsung's Exynos 7420 octa-core processor, while the Nexus 6P uses Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 CPU. So which one is actually faster? Based on real life use, I felt both of these phones are extremely fast. However, I found the Nexus 6P to be more fluid and that's mostly due to stock Android. The Note 5 may have 4GB of RAM compared to the 3GB inside the 6P, but even the more optimized TouchWiz still felt heavy. The Note 5 has also been known to have aggressive memory management issues, at least on the American version, but I find it to be a lot better than the regular Galaxy S6. To me, real life use always trumps benchmarks, but they're still interesting and sometimes fun to look at. So first up is going to be Geekbench, and the Note 5 finished the test first and beat out the Nexus 6P with both higher single core and multi core clock speeds. That's expected since the Exynos 7420 processor is the fastest process you can get on an Android device right now. 
Next up, I ran GFX OpenGL to test out the GPU performance, and as expected, the Galaxy Note 5 came out on top. It doesn't completely dominate the Snapdragon 810 inside of the 6P, but it's certainly faster, making it the better option for gaming. Next up is software, and both of these phones run Android, but the biggest reason you prefer one over the other is because of its software features. For the Note 5, it's the S Pen functionality, not because it runs TouchWiz or has multi-window, but because you can write and doodle on the screen. The Note 5 has been a productivity powerhouse for many professionals, and for that reason alone, the Note 5's functionality becomes more attractive than Google stock Android. With that being said, the majority of people that buy a smartphone don't need an S Pen, but would rather use Android the way it was meant to be, free of bloat, themes, and unnecessary apps that they can uninstall or will never use. On top of that, with any Nexus device, you're guaranteed to receive updates for at least two years and as soon as it comes out. The Note 5 is currently running Android Lollipop 5.1.1, with Samsung promising to update it to Android Marshmallow 6.0 sometime in the future, while the Nexus 6P is running 6.0 right out of the box. So for this round, I'm gonna give it a tie. When it comes to actual software tests, the Galaxy Note 5 is obviously faster. But when it comes to actual real life use, the Nexus 6P feels faster. When it comes to actual software, it really depends on do you like TouchWiz with multi-window and the S Pen functionality, or do you prefer a clean UI running stock Android? Both of these phones have big batteries. Which one is gonna get you through the entire day and then some? Well, the Galaxy Note 5 has a 3000 milliamp battery and the Nexus 6P has a 3450 milliamp one. To be honest, I found battery life to be similar with both phones, even though the Nexus 6P has the bigger battery. I'd start the day at 5.45 a.m. and end around 10 p.m. with about 15 to 20% battery life left. I'm a medium to heavy user, so if I can make it through the entire day with a little bit of juice left, I'm definitely happy. The good news is that both phones support fast charging and can be charged from zero to 100% in around 90 minutes. The Note 5 has both wireless charging and fast charging, whereas the Nexus 6P doesn't have either. Battery life is pretty similar on both phones, but I'm gonna give the edge to the Galaxy Note 5 only because it has actual wireless charging and fast wireless charging. Let's face it, the Nexus line has never had a good camera, but finally it does now. The Nexus 6P has a 12.3 megapixel shooter on the back, while the Galaxy Note 5 sports the same 16 megapixel camera found in the regular Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. The camera on both of these phones are awesome. They both have quick shortcut keys to get to them. On the Note 5, you double tap the home button, and on the Nexus 6P, you simply double tap the power button. The camera interface on the 6P is simple, but terribly slow and clunky. Google really needs to fix it. While well, I found the Note 5 to be cluttered, but it had a lot more useful features. For instance, you can set the camera into manual mode and really change the outcome of your photos. So which one takes the better photos? In daylight, I favor the Nexus 6P. It yields sharp photos with rich colors, surprisingly more rich than the photos taken on the Note 5, which probably means they're really oversaturated. Either way, they look great. Colors are accurate on both phones and white balance looks good too. In low light, things take a different turn. The Nexus 6P still does a great job, but the lack of optical image stabilization and slightly higher f-stop show that the Note 5 is still the king under low light. Don't get me wrong, the photos still look good, but the Note 5 just does it better when the lights go out. And finally, the video test. Both phones support 1080p and 4K video recording. The Nexus 6P does a good job, but you can tell that the Note 5 does it better. The autofocusing is faster, there's less camera shake due to having optical image stabilization, and I found the video quality to be a lot cleaner. So here are my final thoughts. I think both of these phones are absolutely awesome. And no matter which one you choose, I am pretty sure you're gonna be absolutely happy. The Nexus 6P has dual front-facing stereo speakers that sound absolutely awesome. It performs better because it's running stock Android and it will continue to get updates directly from Google. Whereas the Galaxy Note 5 had a slightly better camera. It also has wireless charging, fast charging, and for business professionals, S Pen functionality. I also found the design to be a little bit better on the Note 5 because the bezels are smaller and it's a little bit easier to hold in the hand. At the end of the day, both of these phones are absolutely awesome, but for me personally, I definitely prefer the Nexus 6P. I wanna know which phone you guys prefer in the comments below and let me know what you like and dislike about them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful or enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.